Hi friends, it's Mrs. Rogers here. Grab your book and let's get ready to read Trapped in Tar by Hannah Kales. Trapped in Tar. Okay, there's big pages. Imagine finding millions of fossils in one place. That's what happened at the La Brie Tar Pits. And the fossils tell a lot about the strange animals that lived there long ago. Here it is in California. You can see fossils like this giant sloth in the Tar Pits Museum. Long ago, animals jumped into what they thought were pools of water. But the pools were really filled with black sticky goo that people call tar. Labrie Tar Pits Timeline more than 50,000 years ago, about a hundred years ago, and today, look how far that land has come. It used to have all these animals, then it became a big building with pipelines, and now it's a huge city. Here's bubbly tar. The tar is thick oil called asphalt that oozes up from the deep underground. A story from long ago. One day, a thirsty mammoth stepped into a pool to take a drink. Suddenly, he was stuck in the tar. The more he struggled, the more he got covered in tar. In a panic, he trumpeted loudly. A hungry, dire wolf heard him. A mammoth was a tasty meal for a wolf pack. So the wolf jumped in the tar, and she got stuck too. It was the end for the both of them. Animals were trapped in the pools again and again, and after a long, long time, their bones turned into fossils. Today, scientists dig looking for these fossils. Large and small fossils can be found in the tar. See, look at those big fossils. Here's a, how fossils form. First, animals get stuck in the tar. Next, their bones sink. And third, their bones become fossils, which we find and put in museums. The fossils are covered with very hard tar, so scientists need to carefully clean them. It takes a lot of work to get the tar off of each, tip, each fossil. Look at how hard these people are working. And this is what they're trying to find. The workers must be careful as they clean the fossils. See, they're trying to clean that, that black gross stuff off. Next, scientists fit the fossils together to make a skeleton. It's like putting together a very hard puzzle. Then they can study the animal's skeleton, and sometimes what they discover can be surprising. That's just a foot. Look at these big animals. Scientists can tell how long a mammoth lived by counting the rings inside its tusk. See all those rings? Whoa, big page here. It says, many of the skeletons belong to the animals that are extinct. Extinct or no longer alive on Earth. Their huge sizes and strange looks surprise many people. Look at these scary animals. All right, let me tell you about them all. The American Mastodon. It ate leaves, twigs, and branches, lived in forests, was related to elephants, facts, Covered in thick fur, strong, short tusks. The mammoth. It ate leaves, fruits, and grasses. Lived in grasslands, related to elephants. It is covered in thick fur with very long, curved tusks. The camelops. He ate plants and grasses. Lived in grasslands. They're related to camels and llamas. And they had possibly a hump, but hunted by big cats and wolves. The dire wolf, he was a large hoofed animal. Isn't that funny to think of a wolf with hooves? He lived in forests and grasslands. They're related to gray wolves. They also ate small animals and lived in packs. Oh, the Smilodon. He ate camelops and giant sloths. He lived in the grasslands. He's related to lions, tigers, and cheetahs. He had long saber teeth. 
and he might have hunted in groups. And the giant ground sloth. He ate leaves and grasses, lived in the grassland related to sloths, and he weighed as much as a car, and he was hunted by big cats. Now the glossary. I'm going to explain. Remember, we worked with dictionaries. We know what these words mean. This is their definitions. Dire wolf, an extinct wolf related to the wolf that lives on Earth today. Extinct, no longer alive on Earth. Fossils, the remains or traces of things that lived long ago. Mammoth, an extinct elephant-like animal with thick fur and long curved tusks. Tar, a sticky oil that seeps up from underground. You can also see this information. It says more about La Bre. The tar pits and fossils are part of the, Hu of the Page Museum and Hancock Park in Los Angeles, California. For more information, you can go to www.tarpits.org. The mammoth and the dire wolf lived millions of years after the dinosaurs became extinct. These furry animals lived during the Ice Age, when much of the earth was covered by ice and snow. By the time the ice melted, many of those animals had died out. Scientists are not sure why, but studying fossils from the tar pits may give them some answers. Great job today, friends. Make sure you put this page back in the book, back in the bucket. Goodbye for now.